Hello everybody, Mike here at Gay From Scratch once again. If you were here yesterday, you may have caught my video on Cocos Creator. Basically did a quick hands-on of what Cocos Creator is like nowadays. Uh, however, I made one major mistake. I was actually running an older version of Cocos Creator. Um, though my, uh, my, my words discussion actually were accurate to the most current version, I was demonstrating the old version. So I talked about features that weren't actually even available in the version I showed you, uh, such as, for example, TypeScript support. Um, and I'll show you quickly why I made this mistake. So if you go to cocos2dx.org, um, here is the page you see, and you see obviously Cocos Creator 1.6, it's actually 1.61, is the most current. Now the problem is, between when I started doing this video and when I actually produced this video, part of the joy of my summer was I had an OS reinstall. So basically I had to start all over. So I'd already planned out this video, I'd gone through and acquainted myself with Cocos Creator, uh, however I needed to reinstall it. And here is where things kind of go wrong. So here Cocos 2DX, no problem. Right here, creator page, sure, everything's good. You go over to the download page. Once again, everything is good. Now what I did on the other hand is I went into Google and I said Cocos Creator. And the first result you get is um, documentation, which is obviously not what you want. So I went to the second result and I'm right here, the Cocos Creator web page. And I did the download. And you may notice something on here is this website is somewhat orphaned. Uh, so if you're from the Cocos team, your Cocos slash creator webpage is showing a massively out of date download version. And this is the trap I fell into. Uh, so once again, the actual version I demonstrated to you yesterday looks pretty aesthetically similar to uh, what we're dealing with. So between the 1.1 something and the 1.6.1, which is the current release as of today, um, there haven't been a ton of changes in the UI. A lot of the changes they made were behind the scenes. And some of the changes are actually not necessarily for the better. So let's walk through some of the things that have changed between the video I showcased yesterday and today. Now, first off, as I mentioned earlier, um, this, the different language support I talked about in the um, the version yesterday is actually in there. So you can see you can create JavaScript, TypeScript, or CoffeeScript as your primary scripting scenes. Now another thing that's changed is yesterday you saw me bring up an editor. Uh, that no longer works. They've actually removed the built-in editor. When you select code, you will see uh, it still shows over here in the preview, like so, but this is literally that. It is just a preview. Now all of your editing is done eternally in Visual Studio Code, which I think I actually mentioned the other day, uh, but I, I got it completely wrong. Now at the same time, there's a bit more faults in this particular release too. For example, now when you double click a script file, I actually get an error. Uh, so that's definitely not an improvement. Now another thing I mentioned in yesterday's video and then screwed up was I said SDK box was integrated within the 1.6.1 release uh, or the current release and then I couldn't find it in the menu. Well obviously this is because I was running an older version. Uh, so if you come up here you'll notice extensions. Um, there's an extension store option so you can basically go get new extensions and there is SDK box integration. Now there are a few problems here for example if I click this I get install SDK box installer failed, please tell us, which I didn't by the way. Uh, and then if I go to the extension store, I get this error in Chinese. So as I said, not all of the improvements have been, well, improvements. Um, there also has been an addition of a couple more nodes. So if you went through the nodes yesterday, there was a couple more in here in terms of um, UI for the most part. And one of the biggies otherwise is they have rich text support, which is perfect for if you're doing internationalization, you need to have, you know, a bit more uh, pizzazz in your actual text support. So you see, you've got a lot more options here. Uh, you can do full on markup on how your uh, strings will show. Um, you got a bit more control over your fonts, etc. So uh, you can have a lot more fine tuned detail of your uh, font controls. And another major addition that they added was in the physics controls, physics components, which I talked on yesterday, but I actually didn't get into, uh, which is unfortunate because I would have noticed my mistake, but they actually integrated box 2D physics in between then and now. So if you come into physics, you'll see there is a lot more options. So you've got options for, you know, chain circle, polygon, box, and then more advanced stuff like joints, uh, wheels, ropes, welds, etc. Those weren't in the earlier version I demonstrated to you. 
Um, and then beyond that, there was a whole bunch of behind the scenes improvements, things to make um, underlying compilation faster, et cetera. I won't go through the readme notes. It's, it's not really um, something I can demonstrate in a video anyways, but you know, the, the plumbing, the, um, the compilation behind the scenes, the bindings between JavaScript and the underlying C++ engine, et cetera, uh, were all improved over time. A lot of it was focused on to improve Android performance. Uh, so really that's it. I, sorry about the mistake yesterday. It would be a bit confusing and thanks to the reader that pointed out my mistake. I wouldn't even caught it. Um, all the downsides of, you know, getting things back up and running and having to do that reinstall and all that stuff. Wasn't paying the attention I should have. So again, I apologize for that mistake. So this is the most current version of Cocos Creator as of writing. This is 1.6.1. What you saw yesterday was 1.1-ish. Um, and you'll notice there's a, just kind of across the board improvements. And then of course, some uh, maybe not necessarily improvements, uh, but these are all things that will be fixed in time. So I hope you uh, found that useful and I, I hope you accept my apologies for that mistake I made yesterday. And that's it. Um, I will see you all later and hopefully won't screw up next time. Goodbye.